hi guys i am back and i'm back with a tutorial and before i get into the tutorial i would like to address a couple of things one youtube went down some days ago and with that i lost subscribers and i lost videos for some reason I am not sure how, but that's what happened. Two, I went to get my eyebrows cleaned up and the barber done messed me up. See? So my brows are very, very, very thin. And this is a brow tutorial. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. So bear with me, bear with me. But I'm going to show you all the steps that I normally take to do my brows. And I hope it works on these brows. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this brow. Smiling back when they pray, controller, controller. So, first off, let me just bring you guys in a bit closer, yeah? Once again, you're up close and personal, all up in my face for good reasons, though. For good reasons. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to be taking a disposable spoolie and I'm going to brush my brow hairs up. And make sure you're doing this on clean brows. See right here, some hairs are going back. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to them. Some persons don't like plucking, so if you don't, do whatever method you feel comfortable doing. I'm not going to pluck all because as I said before, the barber messed me up. So I'm trying to get my brows back so I can't pluck all of them. So as I mentioned before, brush your hairs up, right? And this is my little secret. I use the Becca primer on my brows as a prep. What this does, it minimizes the amount of oils that seeps through your brows yeah so this is what I do in order not to have my brows all oily and moving throughout the day yeah so this is what I do and I brush it in the direction I push it in the direction sorry that I brush the hair And it just seals all the hair follicles from the brows and we are going to allow that to dry and when it dries it's going to feel stiff so that's how you know it's dry let's wait a few seconds then we're gonna come back to the brows all right so 
what I use to do my brows I use a pencil or a pomade but I feel more comfortable using the pencil because I feel like I get the same the same result when I use the pencil and the pomade that's my opinion so I'm going to be using a regular brown pencil from the beauty supply store and you see how low the pencil is we don't want it like that the pencil needs to be as sharp as possible now that our pencil is sharpened let's start from the middle of my brows and we're gonna use light a light hand yeah Guys, please to follow the natural curves of your eyebrows. You watch YouTube videos and you try to get your eyebrows exactly like the person that you're looking at on YouTube. That is not supposed to be the case. Everybody have a different brow shape. So follow your own brow shape. So we are lining the bottom first. And what I do, I just make a line right here. And then I go on the top. And I start not, not at the beginning, but maybe like a finger away. I don't know. How to explain it but I don't start at the beginning and make sure you connect the top to the bottom and then you start filling it in if you're following these steps with me you will realize because you put the Becker primer underneath of it it's giving you that rough dragging effect and that's what you want for a pencil yeah all right so now we have filled that in we are going to go back to the spoolie and we're going to use this to blend it out and as you guys can see I haven't touched the beginning just yet I'm going to show you guys blend it out blend it out we want to make these bows look as realistic as possible so we are blending out the brow hairs to mimic hairs you know to make it look like we have hairs even though we don't have hairs sometimes you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so that's what we're doing and then with the excess product that is on the spoolie we're going to go at the beginning of the brows and brush up just brush up yeah so this is one brow done. I'm going to do the other one off camera, then I'm going to be right back. And guys, I forgot to tell you guys what um, shade the pencil is in, and it is in dark brown, yeah? Don't use a black pencil on your eyebrows, don't. And as you guys can see, one of my brows are thicker than the other that's totally fine because now we're going to be going in with concealer to clean this all up so just bear with me trust the process trust the process and your eyebrows are not twins they're sisters and not even twins look alike 
so don't try that hard to make them look exactly alike just the same way how one of your hands are longer than one it's the same thing we are not made even okay so in order to carve out my brows i'm going to be using my la pro concealer in my trusty color fawn yeah and i'm going to put that on the back of my hand when you're carving up your eyebrows you need a flat brush and this is a flat round brush that i use to carve up my brows yeah and i'm going to dip it into the product and just drag it when you're dragging it hope you guys are seeing this when you're dragging it what it does it cause it causes your brush to get flatter yeah and i do it on both sides so now what i like to do i like to start at the arch so right here And take your time with this. Then, then I start at the beginning, and as you guys can see, I'm holding the brush this way instead of this way, right? So, go like this, and you press down hard. And you just follow through. See that? And then you just blend down the product. Blend the product down onto your eyelid. I just went in and I just cleaned that up and this is what we're looking like yeah then I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques deluxe crease brush and this is what it looks like I like this to blend out my concealer because it's very dense yeah And for the top of my brows, what I use is my foundation shade because we don't want no halo brows out here in the street looking all glowy. We don't want that. So we're going to do the same. We're going to saturate the brush and we're going to go on top. I hope you guys are following along. One brow always come out looking better than the other. Make sure you guys blend out that top part as well here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
then what I do, I go back in with my spoolie and I just brush out the front. Yeah, and that is how I do my brows. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.